The M3O is a weird looking American autoloading heavy tank, and I really, really like playing this tank. In fact, this is probably one of my favorite autoloaders in the game. The reason is the fact that it has a super duper quick intraclip at 2.7 seconds compared to the normal 3 second intraclip that vehicles like the Emil 1951 and Samwa carry. It's also got great penetration and just super good haul down capabilities. The M3O is just a kind of do it all tank. However, we're not going to be talking about the Tech Tree M3O in today's video. In front of you is another version of the M3O named the Scepter. I'm not exactly sure what this tank is going to be like statistically, as Wargaming has not announced any stats and there's nothing in the game files yet, but we can clearly see that this is an exact copy of the M3O, same HD files and everything, just with a different camouflage and most likely some tweaked statistics here and there. But honestly, I wouldn't even complain if this tank was the exact same statistically as the M3O, because first First of all, it looks awesome, like freaking fire with the camouflages Wargaming has made for it. But as well, it's a tier 8 premium, which means it will earn crazy credits. So for any of you free to play players, this will be a free to earn tier 8 vehicle that is going to be raking in those credits. Now we arrive at the most important part of today's video. How long is it going to take you to earn the Scepter and how much is it going to cost you to buy it if you want to get it outright? Well, let's start off with the grinding. It says right at the top, fight battles or exchange resources to get diamonds. So clearly you can fight battles and get resources needed to get the Scepter. Now at the bottom, you'll notice it says 38 days and 15 hours. So my guess is this event lasts 40 days. So if that works out, it's 10,000 diamonds for the camouflage and 30 thousand for the tank. So if Wargaming made it so that you could earn a perfect 40,000 by playing the event every day, that would make sense that you can earn about 1,000 of these diamond charms every single day. Now I'm not 100% sure on that, and Wargaming could just be really big cheapskates and make it so that you can't earn it 100% by fighting battles, and that you need to put in other currencies like credits, free XP, or boosters to get your hands on the vehicle, but that's just how Wargaming might do it. Other rewards for instead of the tank, you can get boosters, times 10 by the way, that's insane. Insane. You can get, uh, it looks like XP boosters at the bottom, a really, really cool looking camouflage, and as well, galactic containers. If any of you watch the galactic event, where you could get gold with credits and stuff, that's basically what that container is going to be. The craziest part I wanted to talk about was how much credits or free XP it would cost you to get your hands on the scepter. So let's pull up my favorite companion, the calculator. You'll notice that you get 23 diamonds for 200,000 credits. That's not a great conversion, judging that you need 30,000 credits or 30,000 diamonds to get your hands on the scepter. So what we're gonna do is we are going to get the 30,000 we need and divide it by the 23. And that is 1,304 of that bundle. So multiply that by 200,000 and it's gonna cost you 260 million credits to get your hands on the scepter. Now for a player like me, that's not too much of a problem because I'm sitting over 1 billion credits right now, but I doubt the average player is sitting at that many credits. So yeah, getting your hands on this vehicle using credits is one of the worst ways possible. Let's pretend we wanna add on another 10,000. So it's 260 million and then as well, let's do another 10,000 thousand and divide that by 23 to say let's uh, you know I want to get the camouflage so to get the camouflage and the tank we're going to do that and then add on the 260 million da, 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 da. it's gonna cost you 346 million credits to get the camouflage and the tank that is ridiculous I don't think I've ever seen a more expensive price tag ever in the game. That is hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of credits in gold there. So yeah, if you have a billion credits lying around, I'd suggest to still not do this because that's going to take away so many of your credits. But yeah, that is ridiculously expensive. The second way of obtaining it that would be most efficient is diamonds for free XP. I just want to point out that these are the most efficient ways. The other ways are even way, way, way worse. So for diamonds, instead of getting 23 like the free the credits, you can get 180 eight for the free XP. So let's do it again. Let's do 30,000. Oh, that's 300,000. And then divide that by 108. Oh, that's 180. Gotta do this and boom. It is 277 of those bundles. Now it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do 10,000. Yep, that is 2.7 million free XP. Hmm. 
ha, hee hoo ha, hee. Yeah, that's pretty expensive, isn't it? I, I don't even know what to say. 2.7 million free XP. And then again, if you want to get the camouflage, we got to add on 2.7 million XP plus another 10,000. And we divide that by 108. And then we multiply that by 10,000. So another million XP. That is just ridiculous. So it's 2.8 million and then add it on with another million. So it's going to cost you almost 4 million experience to get your hands on the camouflage and the tank. I don't even have that much XP in my garage right now because I spent it all on the Blitz Fair, which I'm saving it up for again. So yeah, welcome to World of Tanks Blitz, where getting your hands on the Scepter is gonna be a lot harder than you think it is. You either gonna have to have one billion credits in your garage to get your hands on this tank, or I would suggest to get ready to start grinding. This is one of the longest events Wargaming has ever released. The 50 TP prototype is right up there with the longest, so yeah, this is not going to be the easiest event, I bet, to get your hands on the vehicle. Let's just hope the Scepter is worth your time. When the tank statistics are released and the event is coming to near airing, I will make a video talking about is it worth your time to get your hands on the Scepter. It is definitely not worth your credits and free XP. If you have enough credits and you have enough free XP in your garage, I wouldn't suggest to get it because save your credits for something else like the crates that actually give you gold or, you know, something that'll be worth it because the scepter is not even a collector. It's a premium. So if you sell it, you're getting credits. But if you can earn the tank by playing every day for 40 days, then it's actually not that bad of a deal. So uh, we'll find out how hard it is to get your hands on. I can't imagine it's terribly hard, judging that it is a tier 8 premium based off of a tech tree. It's like the T44-100 of the T44. So yeah, the welcome to today's video and reality where if you want to get your hands on a tier 8, it's going to cost you 350 million credits or 4 million free XP. The other ones like the, the boosters that you trade in are absolutely terrible deals. Like, there's no way you're trading in 10,000 free XP boosters to get your hand on a Scepter. I would never, ever, ever suggest to do that. The credit conversion and the free XP conversion is way better. So save your boosters, unless you literally have so many from opening up a phase one crates or whatever it is you buy that it's, I guess, worth it to exchange them in. Either way, I think you get the main gist of today's video. This tank is not going to be cheap if you wanted to buy it outright, and you might as well start grinding. I'm not sure exactly how long until this event is dropped into the game. There's no battle pass planned by Wargaming for the next month, so it's possible we could see this event, but I'm also thinking it could be the Titan T-54. You never know with Wargaming what they're going to do. I don't have their schedule or their time frame, so I can't really tell you. All I can say is that this will be events probably pretty soon. I'd say within the next two months, or so definitely after the update drops and yeah get ready for grinding if you don't have a lot of free time i wouldn't suggest even try getting this tank it's going to be a waste of your time and i wouldn't suggest spending money to get it because unless it is the best tier 8 in the game which it most likely won't be it's just going to be another tier 8 premium that sits in your garage and collects dust especially if you can play a free version of it on the tech tree